What's going on everybody? My name is Michael. Thank you very much for checking out this video. I have an Elmo ST800 and today I'm going to be showing you how to change the upper belt and uh, that's probably going to solve a problem why your machine might not be working if your machine isn't working. Um, this machine was built in Japan in, um, in the 1970s and it's a great machine. It has nice solid mechanics and they last a very long time. So just as long as you take care of them and keep changing the belts regularly, you're, you'll be good to go. So the only things you'll need for this operation will be uh, two screwdrivers, one Phillips and one flathead screwdriver, and also one belt. This is the upper belt. I've already changed the, uh, already changed the lower belt, but let's get right into it. There are two screws on the back side of this machine, and you need to remove both of those screws. They take the Phillips screwdriver. They're pretty short screws. Set those off to the side. And then this back panel, before you just go ahead and rip it right off, because these are the only two screws hanging, this are con um, connecting this back panel onto this, there is a wire or, that you need to be mindful of. So don't just rip it right off. Be gentle and turn it to the right. And you can see inside the wire right here that's connecting to the, uh, to the speaker. So now that we have this open, we see the mechanics, we see what's going on inside. This is the lower belt. This one is already good to go, but this is where the upper belt attaches to. This it runs from here over right here. So from this pulley to this pulley. And there are there's just one way to do it. Um, you need to take that flathead screwdriver that I said we would need and we are going to unscrew this little screw right here. Unscrew that all the way until this pulley comes off. And there's a little pin that I just dropped. But you want to make sure you you um you keep track of this pin that goes right back in there, and you screw it back in. That's your screw. But anyway, if your old belt broke, um, most likely it's going to look something like what I have here, and it'll be kind of dirty. Um, you can let's get a, there we go. It'll be a little bit dirty and kind of smudgy, kind of greasy, it deteriorated over the years. And so I've cleaned this up a little bit and there's a bunch of gunk up in there too that I've cleaned up so you're gonna have some old belt that you're gonna need to get rid of in order to um, to make sure the machine functions properly so let's get back to it we have this we have our belt we're gonna take our belt out of the package and make sure you get the right size belt by the way because I ordered another set of belts from another guy and the big belt is just too big so that was a quite a disappointment and I ordered it too long ago so I wasn't able to have any recourse and whatever it was less than ten dollars but anyway be mindful order the right parts order from a reputable seller but this belt goes along this pulley and it goes around that pulley as well so we just hook it around that pulley and then we make sure it's around the track on both pulleys it is a square belt so it fits into the V groove quite nicely and then when we put tension on this here, we can go ahead and get our screw into place. And when I first got this machine, the belt, like I said, it was deteriorated. And in order to make sure the machine worked properly, I was even able to use a rubber band instead of having the proper belt, which I'm installing right now. But I was able to use a rubber band and do the same thing that I had right here and get the machine working and tested and functioning properly. But um, yeah, I don't suggest using a rubber band for any length of time because it can get caught in the gears and all that nonsense. But looky there, we are good to go. Let's zoom in. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. All right, guys. Well, that is um, that's all you really need to do. You go ahead and screw the machine back together, and um, we will be set to go. Plug and play ready to uh, ready to go guys. Thanks for checking out this video if you found it helpful Definitely hit that like button um, if you're new to the channel subscribe I have other how-to videos and uh, leave a comment if you have any questions because I'd love to help you guys out I'm only have this machine for a limited time. I'm getting ready to change this belt and ship it out I sell things on eBay So a lot of my videos will be of things that you see me selling on eBay and I usually repair them And um, I'll fix them up if there's something easy that I am able to do at home myself on the low for cheap. So guys, like I said, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new, leave a comment down below. My name is Michael and I will see you guys in the next video.